हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आवर ब्रैंड न्यू फाइव एम डेवलपमेंट वीडियो सीरीज दिस इज़ आवर फर्स्ट वीडियो डेडिकेटेड टू फाइव एम डेवलपमेंट एंड इफ वी गेट अ गुड रिस्पॉन्स वी विल बी क्रिएटिंग मोर कंटेंट लाइक दिस फॉर यू इन फ्यूचर सो मेक श्योर टू हिट द लाइक बटन एंड शेयर योर थाट्स इन द कमेंट बिलो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी इम्प्लीमेंटिंग कैश एज एन आइटम सो आई विल बी स्टार्टिंग यू थ्रू द प्रोसेस एंड देन आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इम्प्लीमेंट इट ऑन योर ओन सर्वर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so we have come to our bank and we can see this is our bank portal and here we are going to do some transactions like we are going to do some deposits and we are going to do some withdrawal so you can see i am having some initial level of cash which was 600 and i am going to withdraw 100 dollars okay so after withdrawal of 100 you can see it's converted to 710 so i am able to withdraw and it's working completely fine if i do another withdraw of 50 it turns to 760 dollars which is completely fine so you can see it is working as expected now if i drop some cash on the floor so you can see 1 dollar got detected and i am able to see in my inventory real time happening and the hud is also reflecting accurately and if i pick all of them it comes back to 760 so everything is working fine here as you can see so now let's quickly jump over to the code and see how we can implement this in your server if you are interested if you like the initial demonstration so now we will jump into the server and see how it's work really there so this is the github uh, repository i will attach the link in the description for you guys so you can go there and download the zip for your server you can see this is called mh cash item so huge shout out to mh like whoever has developed and made this code open source we will see how it is implemented here in this video let's go ahead we are going to download the zip so you simply click on code and download the zip and then it will be downloaded to your local then copy the code and paste it in your resource directory wherever your resource directory is and then we are going to do the ensure and all those stuff so i am not going through all those now we will go what are the dependencies and everything so you can see dependencies required are qb core head and inventory then we will see the optionals requirement if you require optionals you can do that to install you can just create a folder or you can put it into the resource and that's it it will be done if you want to use this uh, script as a black item you can do so if you want so it's there it is written now let's see the changes which we need to do in the scripts the first thing which we need to do is like go into your qb code server go into config and you need to change it. here you can see the line number 11 12 and 12 i have commented and add the lines which is given in the github directory just copy and paste it make sure don't remove it i generally prefer to comment it and add my line so that if you do anything wrong you can just uncomment and revert back okay the second thing which you need to do is like these are the triggers which you can use for your inventory if you wish but these are not required we have a video also which you can go through if you want then we have this uh, things uh, images and all those you can add it in your items dot lua so copy all these three items and make sure you have the latest qb core okay otherwise you might face some issue so just copy and paste all these three items you can see i have added all the three items cash black money and crypto added it here once done we will just copy and paste the three images in your qb inventory do so in qb inventory html images you can copy and paste then you need to copy this and go ahead in your qb inventory go under the config and simply copy paste this at the end so make sure to do a proper copy paste otherwise you might face issue so if you am going fast just click on that playback button and uh, reduce the speed a bit to like point something like reduce according to you so now we are under qb inventory and we are going at the bottom we are going to copy and paste the things which we have copied so here you can see i have added i have added my lines i have added my comments so just for like uh, safety purpose you can say so that i know what all changes i have done then you need to go to your inventory server scripts and copy and paste it on the top so copy all this again go into your qb inventory go into server.lua this time and copy paste it on top of it so you can see i have added by kumar sk and here i have pasted all the code whichever is given in the github so once this is done we will go back to our github and now we can see this is money wash if you have any black money and all those then only it is required otherwise you can ignore it for now i am ignoring it okay then this is the things which is required for pop up and all copy it again and we need to go qb inventory client main dot lua and copy it on the so we are going to replace it you can see replace the code with the below so i am going into qb inventory client main dot lua and i am going on top it will be on top of it so here you can see i have commented my code and added the code given under the 
github so this is the best way so that you can uncomment it and revert back if you face any issue this is another code to which we have to copy and we have to replace it and this is going to be in under app.js so this is going to show all those things which you do like receive and uh, like whenever some items get added and removed so this is that pop up you can see i have commented my code and added the code given by the github accordingly just copy and paste it properly and it will work for you guys then we will go down and these are the client events which you can use if you are using some custom scripts and all those then you can use this so all these are done then we need to head back to our main directory which was image cache items and open it and we have a readme there so this is the config of image cache items here we don't need to make any changes everything is by default if you want you can make this true and false but go to qbhud and then copy the first two lines and you need to go to qbhud client.lua so i am using here zhud so i will open my zhud and i will head back to client.lua and i will go on top and you can see i have added these two lines added my comments also once this is done go back to the readme and see you can you have to replace this code again under the client.lua itself so copy the entire line of code here and just replace it nicely so that you don't mess up the stuff and they have commented my code and added it here so just copy and paste it properly once this is done go back to hud we have few more changes scroll down and we have this line number 886 so match your uh, line numbers accordingly don't go just by like line number 886 and copy paste it just see like whichever hud you are using make sure you checking the correct network even and then copy paste it correctly once this is done you need to do some more copy paste in the server.lua now so copy and paste it and this we need to add there is no need to replace we need to just add it so copy and paste it and then paste it on top on the server.lua of hud so here we have pasted it as uh, instructed now once this is done head back and we need to make some changes in the javascript now so copy and paste this money hud you can see and line number 622 60, around it is saying it's a big pretty huge line so copy it and go to your html and app.js and you can see i have commented the stuff here and just paste your new code at the bottom of this once this is done we have one of the most critical part i will say so copy this html and then you need to copy it and paste it the containers make sure you are matching the containers you can see i am matching the containers under division id is equal to main container so make sure to paste under that container otherwise it won't work for you guys so once this is done the hud part are now completed we will head back to the inventory changes now we will be heading back to our inventory changes so just copy this and these things will be mostly be there in your if you are using ps inventory copy it paste it here so for me it's already there so i'm not going to paste it now you need to vending items copy it and these things are also there under ps inventory if you are using other inventory then it might be missing so you need to add it then this is done now you need to do some changes you can see now we need to make client main.lua around line 65 just copy it and paste it so here i am going to do a search of get closest vending machine so you can see we have multiple function call but we need to replace the function itself so on top here you can see we have the function here so i am not going to do any replacement or any changes here so once this is done now we'll go back to our readme of cube inventory and here we need to change around client main.lua 136 which is open trunk so this we need to add you can clearly say it is saying to add okay so we need to do a add so we will do a search of open trunk and we will go on to the functions so here we you can see i have commented this and we are going to add it here so this we have added once this is done now go back to your changes uh, here in readme and then this is big function which we need to replace which is this uh, register command inventory so we came back to our inventory and we do a register command we are doing a search and here we can see we have the register command inventory so just i have commented the existing part and added our new part here as you can see so make sure to add your part don't uh, just delete and add because you won't be able to revert back if you do anything wrong once this is done now we need to make changes under server.lua so you can see qb inventory server.lua this is pretty confusing so you make sure follow this carefully you need to copy this line okay and go under use item slot okay so search for use item slot and you can see here it's pretty confusing where you need to add it so you can see i have added my comments also so make sure you are adding under item data quality and then item info quality greater than zero add it there once done it will look something like this if you don't have ps inventory it might differ a bit but make sure you add it correctly this change also looks like the change is made above so it might feel confusing but uh, it's not confusing just make sure to copy it and go under use item and add your line there 
Once done, now we have a big set of changes here and we have code 1 and code 2. So make sure you use code 1 if you are using only MH cache items and use code 2 if you are using MH cache items and MH stashes. I am not using MH stashes so I am not going to discard it. I am just going to copy and paste the code 1. It's a very big change. So make sure to copy from start till end completely and copy it go back to your server main.lu of qb inventory and you can see i've commented my code and just paste the new code downside just below that you make sure to add your code so here you can see we have added our code and it comes uh, till here so you can see the comment ends here so this is done once this is done you can ignore the code too if you are not using mh stash items else you can copy and paste uh, the code too now this is the last part which is inventory give item so copy again this is again a big portion of code which you need to copy and come down here again it will be just below it so commented the code and pasted it here so this is all done now once you have done all the settings properly and you have followed the instructions then it should work all fine now go ahead and restart your server we are restarting your server and let's see how it works we are in our flicker bank so we will go ahead and do a quick withdraw of 100 so you can see from 740 our inventory got updated to 840 so this works fine so let's do a quick uh, deposit also and see whether it works fine or not we are doing a deposit of 100 dollars and it reverted back to 740 so this is also working fine let's do a quick check on uh, vehicle so we will spawn a car quickly to see whether it's working or not so we will put some dollars in the glove box and see whether it's working or not so we put 10 dollars and it uh, successfully deducted 10 and 10 is there if we do the similar operations in our truck it will happen so this is all fine as you can see everything worked perfectly so if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and click the notification bell to get the updates on future videos also feel free to join my discord if you need any help regarding 5m see you next time guys bye bye